welcome back to my channel. So, if you can't tell, I dyed my hair pink. Um, but, I just wanted to jump on and do a really quick tutorial, I guess. It's more like a how-to. Anyway, just explain how I got my pink hair because I did it at home, which I'm a professional hairstylist, so it doesn't really seem all that weird for me to do my hair at home because I can give myself a professional treatment at home, but uh, this one wasn't a professional treatment. This one is from me using this product right here. It's actually a pink shampoo, and I use it a little different than it says to, but that's how I dyed my hair this color. So this is the Viral by Celeb Luxury Pastel Light Pink Color Wash and basically it's pink shampoo. So purple shampoos have been around for a really long time. Um, lots of blondes use them in order to keep the brassiness out of their blonde hair to kind of tone it, do a little bit of a brightening treatment at home in their shower. Um, but this is the very first time that I personally, um, as a stylist, have seen colors besides purple offered in the tone of the shampoos. So I know the company Viral, this one, has a lot of them listed, and I'll insert a picture right here of all of the different colors that they have, but I used the light pink, the pastel light pink color, and it gave me this, this is the first day result. and. I've done this twice before and I really like it. I guess I'll just tell you how I did it. The instructions technically say, start cleansing with color wash right after fresh hair color. Continuous use adds and replenishes color, preventing hair color from fading or from looking washed out. The directions are, apply generous amount of color wash evenly throughout wet hair. Massage into a thick, rich lather. For easiest detangling, run fingers through hair before and after rinsing color wash from hair. Rinse thoroughly with warm water, especially in nape area of neck, but um, I squirt some of this onto my hands. I'll insert a clip of what it looks like right here. Run it through my dry hair. I section my hair off into three sections. One section um, at my ears and back, and then another at my eyebrows and back and just work my way up, up my head um, and deposit this from root to end, but it's only going to deposit color where it's light enough. So my hair was pre-lightened wherever this pink is, that's where I had highlights previously. So um, that's where it's going to deposit color is wherever your hair has, is light enough. Um, so you can just apply it there, or if you want to do it from root to end, it doesn't matter, you'll just end up wasting a little bit of product if your roots don't happen to be light enough, like mine obviously aren't. Um, so I just put it wherever my hair is pre-lightened and make sure that it's saturated really good and then just kind of rub it through. And it's going to look really vibrant. I'll insert a picture here of what it looks like as it's on. And then I let it process while like it's still dry or while the product is on it out of the shower for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I hop in the shower, get it wet just a little bit, and then lather it throughout the rest of my hair just to make sure that like it separates like, because when you put, when you apply it, it almost makes like a tube and so you really have to break the hair strand up as you're applying it to make sure that it's penetrating everywhere and not just like around the app around the outside of the hair section so I get it wet and lather it um, in the, when I'm in the shower and just to make sure that I really am getting all over evenly throughout the hair and then I'll like not rinse my hair off I'll do the rest of the stuff like shaving my legs and washing my body and washing my face and then rinse it all out after that then the conditions part of my shower I use a deep conditioner in place of just a traditional conditioner just so that it really like seals down the cuticle and locks the pigment in from there you can choose two different options either one keep washing your hair every time that you wash your hair with this shampoo um, and that will keep the vibrancy of this color 
up. It's not going to fade if you keep using this shampoo. Or you can just switch back to your normal shampoo um, that obviously doesn't have any tint in it and that will gradually let it fade. It usually fades on me in about three weeks but I only wash my hair every four to five days so that's only like four washes until it's completely gone. So depending on how often you wash your hair will determine how fast the color fades on you. But I think it's actually a really pretty color as it fades. It goes to a really soft like cotton candy baby pink. Like the purple tones that you can see in my hair right now, that's usually the first thing that fades. And then it just kind of is just like a warm pink color instead of any coolness. Like right here, you can see a little bit of like gray happening in the pink. That is the first thing that fades and then it ends up usually more like this color where it's a warmer pink. Um, I can insert pictures right here of what it looks like as it's fading. On some people, depending on the color of their hair naturally, um, it, fades, it fades differently due to the underlying tone of the blonde that the pink is put on top of because the highlights that are underneath this color that I started with were warmer highlights to begin with. I wasn't white. If you were white, it would turn out more like this and stay like this for a little bit longer. So yeah, that's the product that I use. Um, I got mine from the store Shorts Cough, but I'm a professional so I have a, I have a license. You might need to ask your stylist or someone that you know with a license in order to get it, but if I can find it online, I'll link it in the description box below so that you can try it out yourself. Obviously you don't have to use the pink, you can use any color, but if you're just looking for something a little bit temporary but isn't just like spray, you know like the Halloween stuff, um, this is a really fun option. I don't know, it doesn't leave any residue, it doesn't smell, it doesn't dry out my hair which is one of the best things about it. So that's how I get my pink hair. I hope you guys like it. I think it's really fun and you will see me in my next few videos with this hair color and you'll be able to see how it fades on me and if you're following me on Snapchat and Instagram I'll make sure to leave updates on there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!